Okay, my name is Lewis Thomas, and this is finally the presentation you've all been waiting for. Okay, so C++ does not have its own finally, unlike a lot of languages, but it does give us scopes, destructors, and with modern C++, we finally have lambdas, so we have everything we need to roll our own. So let's do so. So really, it's pretty simple, right? We take a lambda in the constructor, we hold on to it, and we invoke it in the destructor. Pretty straightforward. So let's look at an example, right? Let's say you have a file star, right? You get it open, you make sure it's working, and then you wanna make sure that it gets closed. So we'll just put a little finally line in here, make sure that happens, and then we can do our processing. It will exit at some point along the way, and our file will get closed. This is great because we get to put the uh, cleanup right next to where we open it, make sure it's there, and there's a little bit of a downside. We do have to name it, which is a little annoying. Now, I can hear people going like, but why didn't you write a wrapper class for file, right? Or why didn't you use unique pointer with a custom deleter? It's like, well, yes, probably you should, but don't forget the trade-offs. It's a lot of typing to get one of those working. Um, if you hide the file store behind a class, now all the things that want the file store can't have it. You got to figure out how to change those. And it only works for file star, and if you want to use it for anything else, you got to write it all over again, right? This approach, simple, local, transparent, flexible, and it's actually pretty cool because you can do other things besides uh, just close files. Now, the real problem with this code is that it's not as efficient as it could be, right? The compiler cannot optimize away the std function, right? So what we really need to do is to template on the action. So let's fix that. Okay, so now we have a template on the action. Who knows what the heck that is, but uh, we're holding one of those, and it's much faster, or much more efficient now. So we go back to what we had before, and but we get another problem. Um, what the heck is the type we're supposed to put in those angle brackets? Um, and you know, how are we supposed to figure that out? And we didn't really want to figure that out. We didn't really want to fill that in anyway. Um, and unfortunately, auto can't save us because we can't infer the class type for a constructor. Now, actually, I had said this in my last presentation, and I realized it's not quite true, and it's been a while since I looked at this, so I actually went to look, and so in C++11 and C++14, you couldn't do the inference, uh, or the type deduction, and 17 and 20, you can. So if you're still on 11 or 14, here's the fix. The standard solution is to wrap it in a function. You can do the template deduction of the function. The function returns the class you want, and you're all set. Otherwise, so now whether you're in 11 or, or uh, whether 11, 14, or 17, you can now assign it to an auto and we're all set. And if you look at this in Compiler Explorer, it will confirm that it does in fact generate better code. Uh, it's really tiny and inline. And you know, thankfully we have macros to make it all better. Now we don't even have to name the thing. Now, so that's how you implement finally, but the, there's actually some other cool things you can do with this. So for example, if you have something else that you wanna make sure happens, like say you wanna put the foot, like you're collecting footnotes from all your processing and something goes wrong, but you still wanna get those footnotes out, well, we can guarantee that those footnotes get out before we close the file. And this is another case I used that I thought was interesting. Um, so I have the class, I have a resource manager that's passed in, uh, and it's stored in a member variable, and then some of the other member variables use that resource manager and pull resources out, right? And on teardown, they're supposed to return them, but there's a lot of stuff going on, right? And I love assertions, so I want to make sure that everything's cleaned up, but that's code to execute in the middle of the member teardown, right? Because I'm eventually gonna get rid of the resource manager, so I need to invoke it. So what I can do is put a finally right in the middle, uh, have a member, which is a finally, which runs right in the middle of it. So on member teardown, I free everything, double check that everything's, that the resources are released, and then finally release the resource manager and, and destroy my object. So in this case, I needed the standard function version because I still don't know what the heck the type of this thing is. Um, so I kept both versions. And finally, we're done. <laughs>